Further on in the grow your own area, one of the first things we need to do is roughly plan out what we're aiming. And it's, it's as simple as possible. Do not make things complicated. The secret is, is getting all of your dimensions right and then making sure there's enough space in between the beds for you to get around, get on and garden as well. So don't make it over complicated. There's lots of things online where everybody's talking about different. You're basically looking to create growing beds with soil in to grow. So don't let the complexity start. A simple grid work. You can do it off a, off a graph page if you wish, or just a bit of paper, just to get the idea. And then lay it out, set pegs into the ground and mark out your area so you can walk through and get comfortable with it. Now I've set two of the foundations in really quickly. First off for the greenhouse, of course, which I've put a proper concrete base down. I don't want anything to rot. I want things to be as stable as possible. And then there's a few slabs just over in the corner there. Now those slabs are for the beehives and I'm waiting for them to come back. A friend of mine, Brian, is looking after my bees at the moment since we've moved house. And when the time is right, he's going to reposition and bringing the bees back. It's going to be something really special. My kids are looking forward to seeing the bees. Alice even gave me this today. She was given this at school. Well done. And now she knows that I'm cracking on with the Grow Your Own area. She gave me that as well. I know I'm a bit of a nana, but for the kids, it's mad dad and growing our own stuff and pumpkins in autumn and, and, and peas fresh during the summertime. All of those magical things will be coming to life here in this garden area as I create it. Lots to come.